everyone, Jim with Evolution Power Sports. Today, as promised, we're gonna talk about uh, flex fuel tuning for the X3, Can-Am X3. Initially, this will be for the 21 through 23, 21 through 23 X3 RRs. Um, those have a wide band uh, Lambda um, sensor. And um, the next project will be the 24 and 25 X3 RR. But 23, 21 through 23 is done. Uh, very cool features. We tried to implement the same features that we did for the Maverick R. Uh, with the constraint that, you know, the display on the X3 is just not quite as good as the Mav R, but still the same features. So, if you want to come over here, Andy, I'll show you. Um, so, on the X3, what we've done is your mile per hour um, gauge, okay, so wherever you have your mile per hour set, if you press down on the headlight switch, this will give you, uh, this is your launch RPM, but this will give you your ethanol content. Okay, so, so there's E41 in the tank right now. As soon as you let go, it goes back. Uh, but this, anytime while you're driving the car, you can check your ethanol content here. Um, and, um, and it's a great feature. So you know what you're, you know what you're running. Uh, same safety feature that we discussed in the Mavr where if for some reason you lose signal between uh, the ECU and our, our um, control box. Uh, on, the, on the X3, and if you want to come back, I'll show you. Um, when we lose control, when we lose communication, uh, you'll actually get a uh, check engine light that will appear right there. Okay, so um, if you scroll through the codes, there won't be any codes associated. It's only the check engine light that comes up. Um, but if you plug it back in after a few seconds, it will go away. Uh, again, when that when uh, when you lose communication, it will the the programming will revert back to the lowest boost and ignition settings, which is roughly which is basically your 91 uh, stage 3 R91 tune. Uh, but it will keep the correct ethanol um, ratio. Uh, or stoichiometric ratio for uh, the for the ethanol content that it last saw in the fuel. That way, the car will continue to run properly, and you can get to wherever you need to go in order to figure out what happened. Uh, same thing if the sensor becomes disconnected for some reason. Uh, same behavior will happen with the uh, check engine light and the uh, boost and ignition strategy. So great! This is awesome. I know X3 customers are chomping at the bit to get this and uh, it is coming very, very soon. So stay tuned.